as Jerome Bowell just announced a 25 basis point hike in conjunction with the oldest man to ever live, the man with jelly beans for a brain, uh, President John Biden also stating that cryptocurrencies have no value. The crypto market is absolutely having a little bit of a tumble here, but I think what's most important over these next few weeks is something that I think will absolutely shock a lot of people here. So I wanna jump into a few things. So with this, the feds have now increased interest rates to the highest level since 2007, uh, which we all know what happened uh, very shortly after in 2008. Yellen as well is saying here, we had never seen deposits flee at the pace they were withdrawn from Silicon Valley Bank and situations like run on the run on SVB may more readily happen in the future, potentially warning, we will see things very similar to what happened to SVB. And more importantly than all of that is that this, the lag effects of rate hikes are estimated to be roughly about one year. So when they raise, let's say they raise rates by 75 basis points, the full effect of that is not seen until roughly about a year later. So keep in mind, we have seen pretty much all of these rate hikes within the year. What does that mean? Well, the lag effects, the true effects of these rate hikes have not been seen yet. And we are already seeing banks collapse. So what if, okay, this is a big what if, but a very realistic what if, what if this is literally just the beginning of the strain and the pressure that the banks will feel and the collapses are much more to come here, right? Uh, I mean, this, this tweet perfectly encapsulates it here. Imagine if the 12 to 24 month lag on monetary policy is accurate. That means we've only felt the March 2022 hike so far. The Fed raised roughly about 75, uh, or they raised 75 basis points four months in a row in addition to all of the other rate hikes they've they've done in the past 12 months. Uh, it's very likely, as most people will tell you, we haven't seen the full effects of basically any of that yet, except for the March 2022 hike. So again, immense pressure can be put on the banking system here. And I think there's a very real concern. Uh, I mean, I ask you the question, do you think the Fed, the FOMC meeting was just moments ago, do you think the Fed knows what they're doing, right? Do you think the Fed going through with yet another rate hike here? Uh, many people love Elon Musk. He's adamantly against that. He actually said uh, he thinks there should be cuts. But basically here, do you think the Fed knows what they're doing now, right? Right now they're just aggressively tackling inflation because they think they can help any type of banking crisis by printing more money. But inflation is not something they can fix and they have to tackle that first. But do you trust that they know what they're doing here? Or are they completely, uh, have they already completely blown up so much of, the, of these markets that they don't even know yet because of the lag with these rate hikes? And in addition, senior citizen John Biden uh, says that most crypto has no fundamental value. Uh, his, his administration is obviously so far, it seems pretty anti-crypto. Um, however, in some respect, I have to agree with that, that most of crypto is valueless. 99% of cryptos are scams, right? He's not lying about that. Um, there's, there's a handful, in my opinion, that absolutely um, are legitimate. But as well, JP Morgan talking about this, the face is facing a difficult task. Uh, it likely already passed the point of no return and a soft landing now looks unlikely. And as well, Jay, uh, Jay Powell himself today, when asked about a soft landing, basically kind of um, his response kind of answered the 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 idea of that that it's very not likely very not likely that we get a soft landing and just like i brought up the fed the fact that uh, the fed is not credible well the fed initially said inflation was transitory and they then they after they changed that they initially said then that inflation uh you know we can have a soft landing and now basically with today's fomc meeting we got some pretty good hints that actually that's complete baloney and there's almost no chance of a soft landing Right, especially with uh, this comparison, this metaphor, airplane and a tailspin being the lack of confidence in the markets and the engines about to turn off being bank lending. And as well, it doesn't matter what the Fed does. It does not matter. It didn't matter. It doesn't now matter either Either with them going with uh, 25 basis point hikes uh, because the, it will not end. The banking crisis won't end until the Fed starts to lower rates. And even when lowering, the crisis actually worsens. The yield curve hasn't crossed the baseline and that's always when things get worse long way to go before things get better. And the Fed has yet again made a policy mistake, tightening more than the economy can handle. Last week, two-year Treasury yield saw its biggest three-day decline since the 1987 crash. 
But as well, you know, I think this is something we're going to see more of. Another day, another bank in trouble. PacWest customers pulled 20% of total deposits. We saw the stock market crash the, the final minutes of the day as, you know, right on the heels of the FOMC meeting, which kind of brought everything, literally everything down. The DXY collapsed. The stock market went down. Bitcoin went down. Everything went down here. And I, I, I just don't see how more banks do not collapse. I absolutely think the only thing here... My opinion about this is the only thing we're going to be seeing over these next few months is more and more banks collapse. And um, just as the Fed was late tackling inflation, uh, I think it's very likely as well that we're going to see them kind of be late pivoting, right? They, they, they seem to think that they can just keep going on with this these rate hikes to try to get inflation under control and it won't matter if banks go down because they can support them somehow, which they don't really have the answer to that. In the long run, I think this is absolutely very bullish for Bitcoin, but I think over these next couple of weeks, it will be absolutely bananas to, to I mean, it's basically a ticking time bomb. We're probably going to see more banks collapse, maybe even before the end of this week.